Once you've logged in, um, choose your first fly. In this case, we're going to choose the female. Um, once you select, you have a list of traits you can choose from. In this case, we're going to choose eye color. Um, we're going to select the wild type, um, the red eyes, for the female. As you can see, with the male, we selected the sepia color. Uh, once you've selected the traits you want, in this case we're just doing one trait, um, you can choose multiple traits. You can do a dye, trihybrid, whatever. Um, choose 10,000 offspring. We want to make sure to get as many as we possibly can. And all you have to do is click mate. So push the mate button and your breeding flies. Once you've bred your flies, you're going to get a screen at the bottom with two flies. And then um, I went ahead and clicked the analyze. Um, so we analyzed the data for the first cross. In this case, you can see the cross was the female in the wild, the male, the sepia. And of the 10,000 offspring, um, we've got the numbers in front of us. So what we just went through is our parental cross. Now we want to move on to our, our first generation, or F1 cross. So what you need to do is hit select. In this case, I selected the female. Um, and you're going to notice that um, this is not lit up anymore. It's up here. Um, and do the same for the male. And that male will come up here. And then the mating button will come on. So this is kind of the, the mating chamber, the love chamber, so to speak. Um, so once you have the two flies you want to cross up there, hit mate. And then the same thing we did before, we're just going to analyze the results. Um, you can see in this case um, we've selected both the male and female from our F1. This will be our F2 results. Um, and you can look at the ratio between male and female for the, the red and the male and female of the uh, sepia color, there's no real difference. So you can come up here and hit ignore sex and you'll see the ratio without the male and female being separated from that. Um, so this would be your um, information that you'd record to, to do your analysis piece. Um, so from this, you can pretty much go on to um, your test crosses that you're going to run, get your information and, and run your, your chi-square analysis.